Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about Lightroom and how I took this photo and turned it into this photo. So if that's something you're into, stick around and find out. All right guys, so the first thing you can see is the photo is definitely a little cool. It was really late at night, so I had to definitely warm this up a little bit um, to kind of bring those warm tones back in. Uh, not really gonna mess with the tent. I'm definitely gonna bring the exposure up just a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna bring down here, I'm gonna bring the shadows up because I kind of like that washed out look a little bit more. Uh, I'm gonna bring the blacks back in so it's not too flat. I'm gonna come to my whites bump those a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna bump my highlights a little bit also. Definitely gonna put a little bit of contrast in there to kind of even everything out. I kind of bounce between all those levels. I'm gonna come over to the curves and I'm gonna lift the shadows a little bit to kind of give it that more washed out look. I'm gonna create just a baby S right here just to give a little bit in the highlights. I think that looks pretty good. Look at the before and after. Yeah, I'm gonna put some clarity in there, not too much. You gotta be careful with that. Uh, I wanna bring the saturation up, but not too much. Same thing with the vibrance. Uh, that might be just a bit too much. We're gonna drop the vibrance back down just a little bit. Same thing with saturation better to not overdo it than to overdo it. I do think it's funny that there was a spider on that leaf and I had no clue. Uh, I'm gonna come down here to the hue, saturation, and luminance. I'm gonna bring the red hue a little more towards the orange. I'm gonna bring the orange a little bit more to the red, not too much because it gets kind of crazy. Start to break apart. I'm gonna come to my greens. I think I'm gonna drop those a little bit to my yellow. That looks pretty good. Take my aqua, drop it a little bit. Take my blue, and drop it more into the aqua. I'm gonna come to saturation. I'm gonna bump the saturation to, yeah, 12 looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave, bring the orange up a little bit. I'm gonna drop, oh, yeah. I'm gonna drop the yellows that too far I'm gonna bring the greens way up because I barely have any green in there so I don't want to lose my greens I'm gonna jump my luminance on the red kind of soften that a little bit same thing with the orange I'm gonna bring it up not quite as much I'm gonna drop the yellow not that much it's a little crazy I'm gonna come down here to the split toning and I'm gonna hit option on Mac and in the highlights, I'm gonna put a little bit of red. Uh, don't go too crazy with how much you put in there because it'll really start to come across. I'm gonna again put an option. I'm gonna put some kind of bluish teal into the shadows. Kind of cool it off just a little bit. That looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna enable profile correction because I was shooting with 18 to 35 before and after kind of helps that vignetting a little bit. I am still gonna add a little bit of vignetting, but I prefer to put my vignetting on there over the camera doing it for me. I'm actually gonna boost that vibrance. No, I'm gonna boost the saturation up a little bit. And I'm gonna also mess with my tone curves again, find how I like it. Don't be scared to kind of toy between the things. After you've set it, it's not the end of the world. You can toy with it and figure out what you like best. I'm gonna come back down here. Hit option again. I'm actually gonna warm that dirt up a little bit. It was a bit too cool for me. And same thing with the highlights. I'll drop that a little bit. That looks a little better. A little a little more natural, kind of before and after. Bam, there you go guys. That's how you do your kind of fall moody look. Um, yeah. Well, there you go guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you're new here, 
Go ahead and click that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Stick around, join the community of these awesome creators we've got here. Give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below. Is there a certain style you like editing photos like? You know, is there something you wanna see me edit like? I I'd love to have a conversation. I'd love to get to know you more. You guys are amazing. I'm out.